Shalise Patterson from Thread Sewing School and welcome to Swimwear Sewing 101. Swimsuits are my most favorite sewing project. I've literally made hundreds of them and I want to show you everything that you need to know to make your own swimsuit, whether it's your first one ever, maybe you've never even touched swimwear fabric before. I'm going to show you all you need to know in this course to get you started and it just might be your favorite too. Step one, choosing and cutting your fabric. Let's talk about your fabric choices real quick. For your main fabric, you're going to need to find a swimwear fabric. It needs to specifically be called swimwear fabric. That way that it is going to be able to withstand chlorine and sun. Um, not all athletic wear fabric is going to go great in the water. So make sure that it's a medium weight. I don't like using fabric that is too thin. It should have a good feel to it. It needs to have spandex in it so that you've got a four-way stretch. It stretches all around, has great recovery. Over here I have some lining fabrics. I always, always line my swimsuits. I feel like it makes them last so much longer. It's just one little more step in our sewing process and it's going to make your suit last longer. You're not going to worry about anything being see-through. Um, so I highly recommend doing a lining. Right here this is just some regular old swimwear lining and this is called a mesh. I have used both and I like both. Before you sew, make sure that you have the right needle for the right job. When you're sewing swimwear, you're going to want either ballpoint needle or a stretch needle. Also, you've got to have a stretchy stitch that's going to withstand all the stretch that this garment is going to have. You can either use a zigzag. I have some other stitches on my machine that stretch. There's like a lightning bolt type stitch. You might need to experiment and see what your machine does and what can withstand stretch with some scrap fabric. Let's cut our pattern pieces. Today I'm going to be using my own swimsuit pattern. You can get it actually for free um, if you follow my website, www.threadsewingschool.com. Um, but the tips I'm showing you in this video, they can be used for basically any swimsuit pattern. They are a general instructions that are going to help you. Um, so let's get our fabric. Step two, we're gonna sew the shoulders, sides, and the crotch seam. So I'm gonna put my pretty sides together. You can pin, clip. You're gonna sew this seam, shoulder, side, side, and crotch. Step three, we're gonna baste the main suit and the lining together. The main suit we want right side out, the lining we're gonna keep inside out and we're gonna stuff it in. The first seam I match up is I find these crotch seams.
Step four is applying the elastic. And I feel like this is probably the step that most people are nervous about, um, attaching the elastic, not sure how much to stretch, how much not to stretch. So I try to break it down as simple as possible. You want to find swimwear elastic. Do not use any other kind of elastic. This kind specifically made for swimwear is going to withstand the chlorine and the sun and will last a long time. If you use other elastic, you'll find that it might just after a few weeks of being in the sun, it might just snap. So you need swimwear elastic. Mine, I like to buy this bulk on Amazon that's braided cotton swimwear elastic and I always use 3 8 inch width. Okay, as far as stretching it, when we apply it, we're going to stretch it in a different ways at different parts of the suit. This is how we're going to gauge how much we're stretching our elastic. You can find this in my pattern, if you have my pattern. Um, but basically, if I were to lay this piece of elastic right here and put my thumb here, if I were to stretch it to this first line, this would be a 25% stretch. If I were to stretch it down to the second line, we would have about a 75% stretch. We're going to use both these types of stretches at different areas of the swimsuit. All of the open edges of the suit need elastic attached to it. So we have an armhole and two armholes. And we have this whole front neck all the way down to the scoop in the back. Those three areas of the suit, we are going to do about a 25% stretch with our elastic, meaning we're going to attach it and as we sew, we're going to pull about 25%. Now, there's no way to be exactly precise and really this fabric um, elastic, it's pretty forgiving, so don't stress too much. Just go about that range. As you attach, go all the way around. Keep that 25% stretch and also around the armholes. Sewing the leg holes of the suit is going to be slightly different because as we go around this whole loop, from the side seam to the crotch seam at the front of the suit, we're going to give about a 25% stretch like the rest of the suit but you can see how there's a different shape. It's like a concave curve there. We need to give a 75% stretch for the back of the suit, from this seam to this seam. So as we are attached, we're stretching, stretching. Oh, we've got to this bottom seam. Now we're gonna sew the bottom of the suit, the back. We're gonna give it a lot bigger pull as we sew. And I'll show you on my machine. When I attach my elastic, I like to use my serger. I feel like it looks nicer. But you can do all of these steps on your regular sewing machine as long as you're using a stretchy stitch. You do not need to have a serger to sew a swimsuit. But I'm going to show you how I do use a serger in case you have one and that's what you want to try. But the same step would be done on your machine using a zigzag or some kind of stretch stitch. Okay, let's start with the neck and back seam. I always like to do it from the inside. Now before you start stretching your elastic, you're going to want to have a few stitches down to hold the elastic in place. Otherwise, if I stretched this right as I began, it would just fly out from under my presser foot. Let's turn it on. Okay, so now it's sewn a few stitches down and I can pull and do with it what I want. It's secure in there. So remember around the neck and the back, we're gonna do about a 25% stretch. And I do not pin, although I suppose you could. You just need to take your time and line up the edges.
Now I've made it back to my loop. I'm gonna overlap it, you know, about half an inch. There we go. There's my scissors. Okay, so we've got that part attached. Let's do our armholes. Remember, I always sew it from the inside of the suit. I like to start it in the middle somewhere. It makes it easier when we overlap, not to be next to a seam. Okay, so I've sewn a little bit. Now I can pull, everything's in place. 25% stretch on the armholes. do the leg holes and I'll show you how I do it. I always start kind of down by the crotch area and for this leg hole I can see I'm starting with sewing the front of the suit. See how that's the front? Okay, so I'm going to give a 25% stretch at this part of the suit. You see the seam here? As I go over the seam, I'm going to start giving my elastic a really good tug. Now I'm not pulling the bottom layer, I'm only pulling the elastic and I'm feeding them both through evenly. You can see how the elastic, sh the width shrinks as I pull it this tight. So you can see how there's some gathers on the back part of the suit. That's what we want. We want it to be gathered. If it's not gathered even a little bit, that means you probably didn't pull your elastic hard enough. Um, and when, who, when the wearer wears it, it's going to be, you know, stretched and it'll look laid nice and flat. But at this point, we do want it to be nice and gathered up. I could probably have pulled even a little harder on mine. Okay, so now I'm starting the other leg hole. I'm looking where I'm placing it, whether I'm sewing the front or the back of the suit. Okay, so now I'm going over that seam. This curve is gonna be the back of the suit where I need to give it a nice tuck. Step five, our very last step is to fold back under the elastic and to top stitch. There's several different options for this. Um, there's like a twin sewing needle. There's also, if you have a cover stitch machine, that would be great. Um, you could do a regular zigzag stitch. Again, it needs to be a stretch stitch. I have a finishing stitch on here that I really love that always holds together and never snaps. So that's what I use. Gonna fold it over and top stitch it all while kind of pulling it taut. I'm not stretching it out more than it needs to be. I just want it to all lay flat. And there you have it, our 
swimsuits are finished. They are fully lined. They're gonna last all summer and probably the next summer too. Um, they look beautiful. Hopefully these steps have helped you and you can sew a ton more. Thanks.